Jackson's homer only blemish on Lambert's complete game, photo courtesy, WJAC web contributors, Johnstown, the Altoona curve were held to one run on four hits while the Hartford Yard Goats pounced 11 runs on 15 hits in an 11-1 route on Saturday night at Dunkin' Donuts Park. The curve 26-25 saw their three-game winning streak snapped, while the Yard Goats 27-29 ended their seven-game losing streak. Hartford starter Peter Lambert win, 4-2, went the distance for the first time in his professional career, striking out four while throwing 102 pitches. After scheduled starting pitcher Austin Coley was scratched near game time, Logan Sandilbach lost, 2-2, took the mound for his first double-A start. Hartford jumped ahead in the first inning with a two-run homer in the third inning. In the top of the second, Brawlin Jackson cut the lead in half with a solo home run, his second of the season. The Yard Goats scored a pair of runs in the third and added two more in the fifth inning to pull ahead, 6-1, in the seventh against Jake Brents, Scott Burcham and Ryan Metzler added back-to-back -back two-run doubles as part of a five-run frame to open the lead to 11-1, Udi Gritsa worked around a hit and a hit better to post 1.1 scoreless innings. The curve put only one runner in scoring position in the game, with Alame reaching scoring position in the fifth inning before he was picked off. The curve and yard goats wrap up the three-game series on Sunday afternoon. Right-hander Pedro Vazquez, 0-2, 5.48, will start for Altoona, with right-hander Chris Janzes, 0-2, 13.17, on the mound for Hartford, curve.